I was going to open up this video with how hard it is to change brakes and pads, but I don't think that that's a good idea because George, uh, history tells us that. Check, <laughs> History tells us, George, that even though the job the job is easy, the job is not easy for us. <laughs> so, George, welcome to another episode. George, no, you are part of the episode. I am. The episode. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of uh, very, very, very bad mechanics. Very, very bad <laughs> DIY tutorials. Today we'll be working on George's E46. And today we will be doing this. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck, it's fucking heavy. Hold this. Look at this bad boy. It's almost as big as George, and let me tell you, he's fat. That should be mute on the auto, but I'm not fat phobic and shit. So we've got these giant ass 330i brake. This is heavy, man. Front discs and pads and rear pads. Big brake kit. Big brake 330i brakes on the 320ci. Let's go. To George. Damn, the Gumajinitsa <laughs> over tightened those bolts, I think. <laughs> the Gumajinitsa. Gumajia, guys. Please come on, I'll try MP3. Basi, my little tits are super not a goni. A bit. Bah, yeah. So as you saw, uh, nine out of ten <laughs> bolts. Nine out of ten bolts, no issues. The last one, um, we had a, a, a few, issues. yeah, a couple issues. So it is five days later. Uh, since the intro of this video and uh, well one of the bolts was well way too tightened and uh, we had no tools to actually remove it we actually had no uh, no breaker bar we had a few att attempts over here as you can see uh, but a lot of bad things happened like this as you can see completely sheared off this should not have this oh. form right and this should not look like this so yeah we had we had a few issues but uh all's good now we can finally remove the, the tires the rims jack stand because we're putting the jack stands on the frame rails we've got a tiny bit of cardboard to uh, protect the under tray coating so we don't get even more rust. So we need to remove the rim. Obviously all bolts are removed, but uh, it's obviously stuck. There we go. Here we are, the old disc. Uh, it's a bit rough looking on the inside, but the surface, not the worst, but even through the gloves, I can feel a lot of imper imperfections and uh, bumps. It's got a tiny lip on the front, but it's got a much bigger lip on the on the rear. So Georgie boy here has watched a tutorial or two, and uh, we'll see what's going to happen. Georgie boy, will you succeed? <laughs> Look at those three thirty i calipers. A very big. So before we proceed any further, 
We're going to compare the discs to see if they actually are, uh, well, the same and matching. Because it will be very bad if we disassemble the car. How does it look? Identical. Perfect. That means we can proceed with trying to remove the caliper clip thing. George is uh, looking up how to proceed with that. <laughs> yes, look, this is, after all, the sketchiest garage ever. Scuffed, scuffed productions. George, he seemed, seems to have forgotten how it's supposed to work. Huh. <laughs> there we go. Right. We have new one of these, so it's whatever. Ah. <laughs> that way. Uh, Big brain moves here at Zerga Limited Production LLC. Is this the right tool? Who knows? Okay, at least nine minutes to find the correct tool. It's an Allen head. There we go. So we're currently so we're currently removing the caliper. We're currently doing uh, the Balkan version of a compression clamp. We're currently, ever so slightly compressing the piston using a uh, screwdriver. Hopefully, we don't overflow. I don't think we're going to overflow because you're near the minimum in a, anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> Me. We won't have any issues with overflowing by the looks of things. No, you're actually s in, you're in the middle. Smack dab. Smack that. Oh, you're in the middle. So, uh, there we go. Oh god, that looks... Compressed, right? Oh my god, dude. Oh my, what the fuck. What is that bad, George? Yeah. George, that looks like your rear subframe, that's, and that's not a good thing, man. Yeah. No offense. Looks like the, the, the thing is becoming wobbly. Oh. <laughs> I hope the camera caught that, but uh, well, all of this just fell off when I rolled the, the, the disc. <laughs> so we've got bungee jump cords, jumpy cords. Yeah, jumper, bungee cords. To uh, hold the caliper in position when we remove it from the car. Aggression, George, use your inner aggression. There we go. Nice Georgianess. <laughs> there is nothing on here, man. This is literally just hopes and dreams. Wow. This is how a used pad should look like. Not this. Oh. There's the rest of the pad. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, my mistake. The rest of the pad. As 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 things as <laughs> as you would expect, it just kind of disintegrated. <laughs> yeah, it's, so, it's it's two part pad, you know. It's a composite material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is obviously there is composite material. there is surface. There is some surface left. Yeah, yeah. Surface is there. I can confirm. We have surface. The, the only issue is that the surface. Double the surface. <laughs> the only issue is that the surface was uh, held on by the pressure, not by, not by like metal contact here, not by like by the manufactured usage. This is ridiculous, George. Now I'm fearful for my brakes. Yeah. They probably look like this as well. So we are selling these at uh, brand new. Yeah, a big brake kit. Big brake kit, uh, 330, discs and 330i, discs and pads in perfect conditions, yeah, disassembled. Yeah, it's double the pads. Yeah. This is not supposed to look like that, obviously. <sighs> we have new pads, George. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you have new pads. Like this Brembo. <laughs> Welcome to my review channel. <laughs> this is the big <laughs> Oh look at this shit man. It's a, it's wrapped. Ooh, that's mint. So this is Oh fucking much. So this is how a rear uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> George, my god. Wow. Dude. Holy shit. This oh, is, is composite though, you know. Oh, two yeah. parts. Two parts. This yeah. is exquisite. Exquisite two parts. So this is how a pad should look like. The rear pad. Um, I should have replaced the, the back discs as well. Yeah. Fuck me. 
That's this that was is, a mistake. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like we can genuinely just do a surface area comparison. Look at this man. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's fuck. Stuff. Look at the professional bungee cord uh, job. Double bungee cord. If this was like our first job, we would probably leave it like. If we won't leave it hanging the caliper because we know better, but we won't. We probably just like stick it behind the the, <laughs> the <laughs> springs. Oh, it, you know, <laughs> it doesn't impair our vision. <laughs> I think this needs this needed to be an earlier. Uh... Okay, there we go. There we go. We have a box of, of stuff. No, uh, no categorization is just stuff. <laughs> oh, there we go. The holder thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, a part of the disc is gone. <laughs> yeah, the rear uh, looks very nice. As you can see, the the drilled holes uh, are no longer are actually filled in now. Yeah, they're holes. <laughs> a, a, extra, extra, extra break. Yeah, it's, this disc is done, dude. The rear end. Look at the slots. They are no longer there. And the rest of the one. Hey. Not perfect, but you know, could be worse. <laughs> we saw the worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do a comparison of the discs. Wait, test. <laughs> Wait, test. <laughs> No! Okay, no, well, we were. Yeah, this is heavier. Oh my god, look at the difference in thickness, George. Look at the difference in the thickness. Oh. Quite big. The pads, though. <laughs> yeah. The X slots. Yeah, this is. They are X. Oh, yeah, this is very good. Wire brush. Sponsored by Topmaster. George, can you tell me what kind of fucking brand your old discs? There is no branding on this thing. I mean, it's pretty rusted on the inside, so. It's fucking bad. It's fucking shit, man. It's fucking shit. Where is Rosen when you need him? Just kidding, you never need him. <laughs> We're doing our due diligence here. Snappy, the S, the E46 Sensei, um, said to specifically wire it very nicely. We need to clean the surface area nicely. Yeah. So, this boy goes on. This boy is heavy, very heavy. Uh, <laughs> hey, we, 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 we're using brake cleaner on the brakes. <laughs> Look at how meaty these are. Brembo. Georgi, Vrat, ti si jelati propadnjak, a nikoli nema da me si mrsen. <laughs> Elza, shut up! So we're cleaning off the disc. Why am I saying it like this is some kind of uh It's a tutorial. Yeah, yeah. informational video. We are the experts on uh, On nothing dude, we're shit. This. We're absolutely not special in anything. Utterly <laughs> unremarkable. <laughs> yes. We are very average dudes. That's not necessarily true, because not a lot of people know how to... Well, I mean, relatively speaking, not everybody knows how to change uh, brakes. We don't also... <laughs> yeah, we're all... one of those people! <laughs> yeah, the, the hub is okay, you know. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> George has uh, has stumbled upon a reel in Instagram that shows how to do how to decompress caliper thing. One carrier bolt on. No, one one hour job, but one hour job almost done with the one part. You need to torque the carrier bolts to 60 newton meters. <laughs> you need to tighten the front caliper. C carrier bolts need to be tightened to 100 and oh, 10. 
110 newton meters. We were about to tighten them to 60 newton meters, which would have been a big mistake. There we go. <laughs> That's on forever. George, when you think, you know, we're doing this right now, but like at some point we need to do this again, George. <laughs> this is not a forever thing. This is a consumable. <laughs> Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Compressor. Yep. Yes, baby. Done. It's done. It's done. Instagram reels, man. Let's go, it's baby. It's fucking gram reels. Let's go. Man. Let's go, baby. I hope that shit got caught on camera because this shit was lit. Litty. It was litty as titty. Motherfucking ass. I took my wool on the side. We got some copper grease. You'll know me. No. Oh. Huh? You'll know me. No, 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 no. 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 We got this thing on. Is it, is it the correct amount? Nobody knows. We don't. We sure as hell we don't. We sure as hell. Oh. There we go. Oh yes, smooth as a brick. What does that mean? <laughs> we just... Oh fuck. We just connected the... Whatever the fuck, we just connected some shit. Show this shit. So we've got one nut into one reduction. Reduction into reduction into a six millimeter Allen wrench to see if the Newton meters are correct. Malkule. Satvai mal. Kaj še fanem? Šeti peti 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 peti. There we go. Pam parts, bro. The pam parts for the JDM is of the BMW. Yep. yep. Uh, the rattle plate. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty simple, I guess. We really didn't need to <laughs> have such a battle with it, but I guess yeah. it is what it is. Apparently, we are not the brightest. No, that's, that's absolutely evident. Okay. Yeah, a lot of dirt. Oops. There we go. And here we go. The next go one. We now are a bit more seasoned. Seasoned veterans. Seasoned techs. Yeah, yeah. Master technicians. We have a brake sensor here on this side. So exciting. This side seems a bit crusty. We continue with the dual brake pads. Although these ones do look a bit healthier. Why are we having so much trouble with this one? What's it gonna? So we've had some serious uh, issues. We busted out the WD-40 
the carrier bolts uh, were not compliant. They didn't want to leave the car. How are they looking? Are they fucked? Yeah. They were so slightly fucked. This was not, the disc was not tight at all. So this is the other disc. Yeah, this has a bit more life in it, but still not optimal. Yeah, quick comparison. This is the old. There we go. When the camera is your only light. Yeah, it looks nicer. <laughs> We're halfway done with the front with the with front. this. <laughs> Switching to uh, Titan mode. <laughs> I've seen better performances. Bro, we're fucking done. There is no commentary to be made. There is Advanced no YouTubing to be made. I stopped accent, man. I no longer even speak accent. You don't English, man. Man, what is this? Shibanaya kula! Shibanaya machina! Machinaya shibanaya! Ya machinaya BMW! BMW! Not, not ya machina! I barely even gave it any, any <laughs> this man, it just died. Why did it? Okay. Man, whoever changes these next time is gonna have a fun time with these half stripped. Can we get new bolts? Yes, yes, you do it alone next time. Look at professional. The most unprofessional. <laughs> Way to compress. Yep, it's moving. Yeah, almost there. Yeah, that's that's it. So it's George's turn to lubricate. Oh yeah. It looks like you're smearing shit on it. Two more bolts to tighten, and then the little metal anti rattle plate. There we go. Four hours. Four hours for uh, the front end of the car. Uh, check, 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 check. Cool. Rattle. Oh, boy. Again. You know what's the worst part, George? There was nothing that inherently went wrong. We had some, you know, bolts around, around there. there. Yeah, that bolt over there. No, but like today, there's just one bolt. Two bolts that were a bit problematic over there. 
Other than that, it's just us being slow. It's just us taking four hours to change the front. There is no like, there's no. Yeah, it's not like a. It's that's why this trains. That's why this is shit. Oi, oi, oi. Well, George, I think this will be it for uh, part one. <laughs> There's going to be two parts, or apparently, maybe. But this is definitely a long enough video. Although a lot of this footage can't really be used. Yeah, it's us being silent and and sad. <laughs> and sad, yeah. yeah. We're basically sad. So from uh, from the dead. From the Walking Dead. From the Walking Dead of Breaks. Wait. From the Walking Dead of Breaks, uh, we bid you farewell for now because we've got rear pads to do. At least it's only pads, but we need to calibrate the handbrake. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, so I guess thanks for watching. Fucking, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.